right. To say I'm looking forward to this weigh-in would be an understatement. I look good, I feel good. Let's do this. I need to do, man. Good. Just remembered why I'm 187 pounds. I had chili yesterday and like a like a Chinese chicken kind of saucy thing, both of which include a fair bit of salt. So I'm holding in a little bit of water weight. Contrary to what I thought when I saw when I looked in the mirror, um, I thought I looked pretty good, um, which I did in comparison. However, that does mean I'm holding on to water weight all over my body, which makes me a little bit heavier. So, from experience, I always hold on to one pound more body weight when I have chili the day before. So, let's say 187, let's say I'm 186 pounds, and then from that chicken meal, I'm, you know, 0.2 two or 0.3 pounds less than that. So, I'd say we're into the 185s, just not on the scales yet. But in the mirror, we're in the 185s, but on the scales, not so much. So, uh, hopefully this meal will sort that out. Um, and I'm going to do a little bit extra cardio today just because... What's up guys, Liam here and welcome back to LSJA TV. As you can see, I'm currently on my way to the gym. I'm wearing a bit more summery colours today. Uh, uh, excuse me, Bin Laurie, trying to vlog. Wearing a bit more summery colours today. I've got the red, I've got the coral LSJ emblem hat on. Maybe doing a restock of these this summer. Uh, let me know on Instagram or a comment down below if you would be interested in that. I am actually waiting for the bus today. Stay tuned guys, let's do this. Sit. trying to do there mate? Um, shoulder day, starting off with shoulder press. I want to get more than six reps on 70 because the last couple of times I've only done six, six reps. I want to sort of be getting seven, eight minimum, keep that level high and then allow sort of reps and weight to drop if you know what I mean. So uh, yeah, starting off with that, move on to some isolation. I'm going to throw in a bit of back there as well. It's an upper body workout with shoulder emphasis. So, uh, yeah, good. Come on. Push, push, get it up, get it up. Come on. Good lad, good lad.
Leslie and the Perfectionist. Lean the perfectionist. perfectionist. Being a perfectionist is what helps me make better videos. I'll just go there. Right. Yeah, just go. Turn that into a tricep push down. Why is that? It's really, it's really easy. It's just go. If you bend it over, you get stretched apart. It's really easy. It's just go. Yeah. Go over it. Focus on keeping your arms straight. It's hard. It means you might have to lighten it up, but numbers are just for you, though. No one gives a shit about that. Sound. <laughs> Not laughing anymore, normally, are you? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> normally would do uh, regular lapping now, right over there. Which is free now, but it wasn't when we went to start, so we moved on to this. It's great to show that sometimes you can do similar movements, but not exactly the same. Sometimes that's actually a benefit, it gives you a bit of doms, maybe a little bit of extra muscle growth, a bit of bro science for you there. But um, yeah, I really like this machine. Jake's not the biggest fan, but. Um, no. It was our only choice, so. Hundred eighty seven pounds, my ass. Feeling even better. Summer is in the air. Please check your packing area. Oh my god, do I feel good. I feel absolutely, I, I can't even explain. I'm just so freaking, I just feel so happy. I just feel so good that my goals are being achieved because I know, I know that that is going to have a difference tomorrow morning. I know it is. Push past that boundary. Goal was to originally 200, switched that to 250, and then pushed even further past it. Hopefully, you guys can take something from that. Um, I'm ready to go home, have a shower because I stink, and get some food because I am freaking hungry.
key, right? I prefer sweet potatoes, supposedly a bit healthier for you than sort of regular ones. 500 gram bag, around about two pound, will last like four meals, sorted. I'm gonna shove some in on a tray real quick. everyone so I wanted to finish off today's video with a quick little not speech or rant or something I don't know something in between um, I recently received well today actually I received a message from a long time subscriber um, and he pretty much said I did an Instagram story I'll pop it right here I, all I was doing was pretty much just you know having a little dance in the gym having a good time enjoying myself right and I put good vibes on the on the uh, on the clip that was purely because I was enjoying myself, I was having a good time, I was feeling the good vibes and hopefully you know I could spread that to other people so I put it on my Instagram story. That is just one of the many, 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 many things you can use social media for to impact other people's lives but this message got me thinking, he, he pretty much was, he pretty much said um, everybody would be laughing at me because I was uh, making the Snapchat and I thought you know what? Yeah, you're right. There probably was two or three people at least. On a daily when I'm recording in the gym, I get at least two or three people looking at me thinking, what the fuck is that? What is this guy doing? Because it's not the normal thing to do. Let's be honest, guys. That this, this YouTube is massive now. YouTube is ginormous. It's growing every year upon year upon year as well. And now the statistics coming out saying kids are watching more, t uh, more YouTube than they are TV, which is just crazy and blows my mind when you think about it. YouTube is the future. But the point is, it got me thinking that the people, the very few people that succeed in, in this sort of, you know, social media world, if you like, there's always something different about them. There's not, there's, al there's always something individual, there's always something unique. And to be honest, to even consider posting on as much as I do on social media, you have to be a little bit different and a little bit weird because let's be it's not a, it's not a normal thing to be doing at this point in time it's not normal so people are going to look do i care absolutely freaking not because i'm the one there and i actually said this to him in the message i said you know what let them laugh let them laugh the pure reason behind that would be I am the one there having the best time of my life. I had an awesome session today. You guys saw that earlier on in the video. I was just happy. I was just, like I said in the thing, good vibes all around. And just, I was feeling amazing. I was like, I want to share this. I, like, I couldn't pull out my vlogging camera, so I put it on my Instagram story. But the moral of the story that I would say here is, if you want to succeed, not necessarily in social media, you might not want a YouTube channel. You might not want to be Insta famous or something like that. But if you want to succeed, don't be scared, don't be afraid to be just that little bit different. What I'm doing, I'm, I mean, hopefully, I mean, we're at 780 subscribers at the time of recording this. That's teeny tiny in the grand scheme of things, but the potential is massive. And to succeed, I have to be different. I have to be walking through Nottingham City Centre going, hey, hey guys, welcome back to LSJ. Like, that is not normal. It's just not. But I am willing to do that to succeed because this is what I want to succeed. I want to be successful. And if this is one of the ways that I can do that, then who cares what other people think, right? Drop a like if you completely agree, guys. That is going to finish off today's video. I want to thank you guys so much for making it this far. If you have, drop me a like and a comment down below. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. Together, we will grow. As always, remember, no regrets. I'll see you guys in the next video.